Hello, good morning everyone. Today is Wednesday, the 3rd of June, and this is the one day in the week when we don't meet for Zoom, instead we have video lessons. So today we're going to have three video lessons. The first one is going to be this one, which is English. After this, we're going to talk a little bit about geography. And then for the end, we're going to do a very simple craft that is going to help us learn what's up next for math. Okay, so let's begin straight away with what we have to do today. Today, you've probably already seen the first few frames of this video. We are going to learn a new sound in English. But before we get to that, let's take a look at the last three sounds that we recently learned. Yeah, so here we have the letter um, y and the sound that it makes is Y. So let's remember our action in our song. Y, 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 Y. We also said that the letter Y can also uh, make vowel sounds. E at the end of sunny and I at the end of sky. Yeah. So that is letter Y. After Y we have letter X. X is the name and the sound that it makes is X, X, X. Okay, we have it in words like exit, uh, x-ray and so on. And then finally, the last letter we learned is digraph CH. We call digraphs the letters, uh, the sounds in English which are written with two letters, yeah? So we have letters C and H, but together they make only one sound Ch, 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 ch. So one more time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you're eating yogurt. Yeah. X, x, x. Like you're taking a picture with a camera. And ch, 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 ch. Like the sound that a train makes. Okay, so now let's take a look at what I have here for you, what is new for today. Okay, so what do I have here? I have a card and on it there's a picture of this beautiful thing you can find on any beach. What is this? This is a shell. Yeah, the word shell has three sounds. Sh, e, l. One more time. Sh, Okay, and let's see what we have here. So this here is the sound sh, yeah, as in sh, a, l, shell. The sound sh is written with two letters, s and h. So this is a digraph just like the sound sh. Okay, so let's take a look here what is going on in our story. So take a closer look at the things you can see here in this book. Here we have mommy. She's trying to put the baby to sleep. Here is the baby in its cot. Right next to it, there is a sh -sh shelf. On the shelf, there are many books and toys and baby bottles. Right by mommy's feet, there is a runaway plush sheep. Yeah, a toy sheep. And then if you look here, there's another interesting toy, but this toy is called a ship. Now look. As the baby is sleeping, above her there is this toy with many, well, let's count, one, two, three, four, with four fishes spinning round in circles. Now look here, what's happening at the boy's corner? Look at the picture on the wall, he's got a sh sh shark. And what is he playing? Let's see what it says here. Can you read it? It says Sam's shop. Sh, sh, shop. Sam's shop. Well, while Sam is playing in his shop, uh, shop, he is making quite a lot of noise with his toy cash 
register, yeah? And the mommy, she needs to remind him to be quiet while the baby is sleeping. And how does she do that? Well, look, she puts a finger in front of her mouth and says, shh, 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 shh. And that is how we make the sound, shh. And that is also the action that we need to remember with the song for today. So let's hear the song. Okay, so let's hear one more time. The first word that you can hear in this song is the word hush, H-A-S-H. Word hush we use when we're trying to quiet somebody down. So we can say hush, hush, shh. Okay, so let's hear that again. Shh. So that is the song uh, with the sound sh in it. And here I have some words for you today. Okay, I'm going to show them. These are the words uh, from, your, uh, from this book. And then later on during the class, as I show you a few different songs and videos, I'm gonna write a few more words here, okay? And I would like you actually at the end of this video to note down those words, what does that mean, those words. So what does that mean? To take a pencil, take a notebook or a piece of paper and write them down, okay? So now let's see what I have here for you. This is the first word and I'm gonna leave it like this for a few seconds so you can try and read on your own. Okay, so let's sound it out together. <sighs> ah, sh, h, <sighs> ah, sh, hush, hush. Okay, the first word was hush. Let's take a look at the next word. Let's sound it out together. Oh, shell, shell. What you can find on the beach is a shell or many, many shells, yeah? So the second word is the word shell. Okay, we have four more to go. So this word you might remember from the story that we read on Friday, the king had a, what? E sh wa e sh wish the king had the wish to touch the moon yeah to reach for the moon wish next word is a charming animal So let's do this together. Sh e p sh e p sheep sheep. Now take a look at this word. Sh e p sh e p ship. A ship. So pay attention to the difference between, between words sheep and ship. So you, they sound very similar, but the difference is, is that here in sheep, you hear the long E sound, sheep. 
and in ship you hear the short e sound ship okay and then this is the last word so what did the baby have about its head to look at F -e -sh fish and then the second part we're gonna read it like this fishes okay fishes okay so the thing in English is that if you have one fish you're going to say of course one fish or a fish but when you have more than one there are two ways how you can say it you can say two fish it's perfectly fine or you can say two fishes which is also okay talking about uh, the ways how we say a word uh, when there's more than one which we by the way call plural uh, the word sheep doesn't have a plural form. So what does that mean? We say one sheep, two sheep, three sheep, 100 sheep. It's always the word sheep. And again for fish, one fish, two fish, 100 fish, but you can also say one fish, two fishes, 100 fishes. Perfectly fine. Okay, so let's take a look which other words we had here that I didn't write there down. So for example, there is the word shop, yeah? The word shop is very useful for us. <clears throat> yeah, it's very simple to write. Shop, sh-op, shop. I'm just going to make this S a little bit smaller. Okay, so here is the word shop. And then there are many different kinds of shops, okay? Such as toy shop, uh, grocery shop. So these are. this is why this word is so important for us. Then the next word that we have is an animal that I know you all love. Shark. Shark. The next word is shark. So I challenge you tomorrow on Thursday, when I see you in class, can you tell me what a baby shark is called? Is it a cub? Is it a calf? Is it a pup? Can you find out? Okay, so we had a shop first and now in shop, when you're in a shop, you can buy with a card or you can buy in cash. Okay, so I'm going to add that word as well. Ash, cash, yeah? So when you use bills, you are paying in cash, okay? So, are you ready to find out some more words with sound show in them? Well, if your answer is yes, I'm going to play one minute or less of this video. Thanks. right now okay so what you're going to do after you've seen this video you're going to find your workbooks and you're going to complete um, the pages on sound sh. you're going to write the words and then you're going to copy these few words from the board yes so let's remind ourselves these are the words shop shark cash and short okay let me just put the sound buttons sh. 
short, okay? Uh, and the words, you can also write these words down if you wish, okay? Sheep, ship. Uh, oopsie, that's an upside down. Uh, wish, if you wish. Shall, hush, and fishes, okay? And then after you've done all of that, you can practice um, how to make some words which have the sound sh in them, okay? So I sent you a link to this game. You click play. So I sent a similar game uh, recently, but the sound was, I think, oo. So what do you have? Here you have a shark, and then you can see it says arc. So what are you missing? You're missing sh. So you're going to uh, click, okay? Well, let me try because it's a bit difficult for me to do it with my left hand. Yes, okay? Fish. So you have the word fish. And again, you try to find, to recognize the sh. You put it in the right place and you get your word. Ship. Okay, so why is this important? This is going to help you uh, remember that the letters S and H make sound sh, okay? Guys, I hope you enjoyed this class. Please be hardworking, do your task, please write down all these words, and then when you're done with that, come back for your geography lesson. See you soon.